Hey everyone, so in this video I am going to show you how to submit your assignments on Schoology. So if say let, we were working on the Hero and the Minotaur vocabulary. So first I'm going to show you how to download that activity and then I'm going to show you how to submit it once you're done completing it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on Schoology. So once you're on Schoology, you're going to click your courses and then you're going to go to ELA. And you're going to click English and then you're going to click the ELA folder. Now, we are currently on the Hero and the Minotaur. If you wanted to post something that you did in the Great Fire, you would go in this folder. Um, since we're on the Hero and the Minotaur, I'm going to show you how to do an assignment for this. So here I am, I click in my Hero and the Minotaur folder, and then I go down and say I'm on the vocabulary activity. So I click the vocabulary activity, and first, if I haven't done it yet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it right here to download it. When I click here, it is going to download it. For me, it's popping up down here in my downloads, but on your laptops, it's probably going to pop up right around this bottom left quadrant. So you're going to click on it, and then you're going to open it. Now, if you notice that you're trying to type and it's not letting you, that's because there's going to be like a yellowish banner that goes all the way across the top right here underneath the blue. And you need to click the button that says enable editing. So that's spelled like this, enable editing. Once you click this button, which is going to be up here again, then it will allow you to edit the document and type. So once I have completed this activity, so I've typed in all my definitions and my sentences and they're all beautiful and ready to go, I'm going to go up here and click File, Save As. Then a screen will pop up. On your laptops, this folder is going to be yellow and it's going to be up here in big and it's going to tell you that it's in Downloads. If you want to change that, like usually for me personally, I like to change this to desktop. That's just a personal preference. You can leave it in downloads if you want, but just make sure you know where it's going to be for when you have to try to find it in order to submit it on Schoology. Another thing that I like to do is if you say you downloaded this and you are going to do it a few days ago and then you didn't, so then you went back on and downloaded it again. That's what I did. That's why it says two here. The reason that this might be an issue is you because you might accidentally upload the wrong document. You might upload one that's blank that doesn't have all of your wonderful answers. So you to make sure that you don't do that, what I like to do is I like to just put answers really big. So I know that this is the document that has all of my answers. So I there's no chance that I'll accidentally upload a blank one. So once I've done that, I'm going to click save. Now it's saved to where I want it. I know where it is and I know what it's called. So now I'm going to go back on Schoology. I'm going to go back into the same folder, into the same vocabulary activity assignment or whatever activity I'm on. Now instead of clicking here, which will just download another blank copy, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click the button that says submit assignment. I'm going to click submit assignment. And now we have to select the file and you'll see it doesn't show us a file button so it's kind of confusing. The button that's the file is right here. So as you see right here. This button and when I hover over it then it'll finally say file. This is the button we want to, to select. Okay so we're going to click this button and it's going to open up all of our files. Now you see it automatically brings me to my downloads but remember I saved it to my desktop. So you have to look in the folder, whatever folder you saved it in. So if you saved it in downloads, it should pop up right here. I saved it on my desktop, so I'm going to click desktop. And here it is. And notice where it says it got cut off, but it says hero and the Minotaur vocabulary answers. So I know that this is the right one. And you'll see down here, it's hero and the Minotaur vocabulary because I had downloaded it a few days ago and forgot about it. 
If I clicked this one, it would upload a blank copy. It doesn't have my answers. I have to make sure I click the right one. So what I'm going to do is I'm either going to click this twice or click it and then come down here and click open. I'm going to click open. And now you'll see it's loading and here it is. It's attached. You don't have to put any comment here. So you can just, it's here it is, and you can click submit. Once you click submit, it will pop up here on the side that you submitted it. The reason that I'm not clicking submit is because Melissa was so kind as to give me her login information. So this is Melissa's account. So I don't want to submit this this one with this craziness for Melissa. So I want her to, to post her actual answers that are much better than this craziness. So I'm not going to actually click submit, but if you did, it would pop up along this right side and it would show you that you've submitted it. If, say I accidentally did submit this on Melissa, you can resubmit. So this button will change to resubmit, meaning submit it again. So if you act, made a mistake, if you accidentally submitted a blank copy, you can click the resubmit button and it will let you choose the correct file. I hope this video is helpful for you in submitting your assignments. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to me or Miss Eggleston or Miss Reese. We're happy to help you. This is what we're here for. And also, just so you know, as a reminder, I'm sure a lot of you have heard this like a bajillion times, but I have class every day at 3 p.m. And Miss Reese is starting to have class Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 1. You do not have to go to both, but you do have to go to one of them. So based on whose group you are in in ELA, like if you're usually in my group, it's probably best for you to come to my call. If you usually work with Miss Reese, it's probably best to go to her call. So you choose one of those and you, you go on and then we will walk you through the ELA activity and we will walk you through this again. So if you're getting stuck, just know if you come on these calls every day, we will keep you right on track. You won't get behind. Um, and then for math, um, we all, I also have another video posted for how to access your math, math assignments. And remember that we have our weekly call with Miss Reese and Miss Eggleston and everybody on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. So right in between me and Miss Reese's calls. And that's a ch general check-in, and you can ask Miss Eggleston any math questions you have. And I know she's also always checking her Schoology, so if you have any other math questions, you can send her a message. Okay, so I hope this video is helpful, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye, guys.